Hey everybody, this is Shauna from Shauna's Dream Life. Today we're going to be doing another craft project. We are going to be making a, oh, uh, let's see, what would you call this? Initiative pole, flag, step ladder, something like that. Um, it's to keep up with whose turn it is if in any kind of game, for real, um, we're going to use it for Dungeons and Dragons. Um, but you could use it for any game where that is turn-based to keep up with whoever your players are and whose turn it is. So what you'll need for this project is a platform, just a piece of wood. I got this at Michael's for 99 cents. Some wooden dowels. Um, you want to get the fairly long ones, depending on how many players you have. Um, and they're just wooden dowels. This is the 5 16th inch by 12 inch. Um, and it came with six. I think it was like $1.99, something like that. You're going to want to get, I got chalkboard clothespins, the wide ones. If you cannot find these, these were on sale at my Michaels for 99 cents. So I picked these up. If you can't find those, you can use just regular wooden clothespins and you can either paint them with chalkboard paint or any color paint that you want. You're going to need chalkboard markers or chalk, it doesn't matter. Or if you're doing the paint, you can use just a regular Sharpie. I'm gonna move that out of the way so that I don't accidentally grab it. You're gonna want paint for whatever color that you wanna paint your dowel and your wood platform. Some glue. And some moss. I got this at the Dollar Tree for $1. And I have a little surprise that's going to go on here at the end, but I'm going to save that for last. Now, we have already pre-drilled a hole in the platform to fit the dowel down into because I don't like to do it, and I made my husband do it, to be quite honest. Um, <laughs> but you don't need any glue or anything. If you do wish to glue this down, feel free. It's not going to hurt anything. It'll actually probably make it sturdier. We um, chose not to. Just in case this dowel breaks, we're not losing the base or anything else. We can just pull it out and replace the dowel rod. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course, a drink and something to put your paint in. I just use a paper plate or something. And some paintbrushes. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drill your hole, obviously. The next thing is I'm going to paint these because it does take time for these to dry. So we're just going to shake, shake, ah, not throw it, shake, shake, shake. And just put a little bit of paint down. And paint. So, while I'm doing this, you guys should leave a comment down below and let me know some other games that you think this um, initiative tower or flag or whatever you want to call it would come in handy. What would you use it for? Also, if you don't want to paint this, you don't have to. Make it your own. Um, honestly, we probably didn't really have to paint this one because I'm going to be putting moss down. But just in case any of the moss comes up or anything, I wanted to have a, a different color base. All right, so I am back and I have painted the base black and all I used was the apple barrel black and then I painted the 
Dowel Rod. Again, Apple Barrel. And it is Tuscan Red, in case you're looking want to know. So, those have been painted. The next thing that you're going to want to do is if you do choose to glue your dowel rod in, go ahead and do that now. Again, we are not going to, so I'm actually not going to do that. But now would be the time that you would want to do that for yours if you choose. So originally, my plan was to use the moss uh, to make a grassy bottom around the dowel rod. But once I got to working with it, I really didn't like the way it looked and how messy it was. So, I had this bag of, now that I'm getting moss everywhere, I had this bag of rocks that I also found at the Dollar Tree. And it's just stones, white stones, that I think I'm going to use instead. So, pretty much you're going to do this the exact same way that you would with the moss. You're just going to take your glue and you can either dip your rock into glue and then place it. You can glue the bottom and then just pour the rocks on top. Or you can do like I'm going to do because I am tedious and I like to do each individual rock. Um, but I'm going to glue each and every single rock down. So, let's get started. And you want this to be kind of like a rough, messy kind of glue down. You don't want it to be uniform or anything like that. Or at least I don't. Once you have everything glued the way you want it, I would suggest letting it dry before you do anything else. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to let this dry just a few hours. And then, still got moss on it. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to want to do is take your chalk markers and you're going to write out your character names. I'm not going to do that at this point, but there are two, three, four, five, six of us. So I am going to put six. these on here six and then on the seventh one with my chart marker This may not be thin enough. It's not thin enough. Hmm. I didn't bring a paper towel in here, so we'll just use my shirt. Okay, it's not perfect, but whatever. So, initiative, and then I'm going to put this 
right there, like so. Now, for the secret ingredient, I picked up this little fella at Michael's. I used my 40% off coupon. Um, he is originally $6.99, but I got him for $3.50. Well, a little bit more than $3.50, but so we're going to put him on My rocks haven't dried yet. Do I want him down here? Or do I want him up here? I think I want him up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the glue and I'm just going to put a good dollop. Stick him on like so. I'm going to move this so that it doesn't get everywhere. And if you make a mess like this, it's okay. It just scrapes right off. But honestly, it adds to the character of what you're making. I think so, at least. So we're going to put the lid back on this bad boy. Let him finish drawing. glue on my hands, y'all. Okay. We don't want that up too much. Okay. Now, this is your finished product. So, as you're playing, you can, once a player has gone, you just take and flip it the other way to show that that character has already gone. If they choose to hold their turn, you can either leave it just like this or just kind of cock it a little bit to the front or to the back to where you know that they've chosen to skip their turn for the time being. Okay, and there you go. Your D&D &D Flag of Initiative. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I would be greatly appreciative and I will see you guys next time. Bye!